Florida, Rayshon Scott. Toss on first down to Joe Yearby. It's not much. We'll take a look. Linebackers are. They're going to be a handful. It's going to be a real challenge for this Miami offense. Try another give to Yearby on second and ten. More room on the right side. Yearby has a first down near the 45. Well, this will be, if they can possession count. Kaya, let's see if that is incomplete or a fall. Florida. See how he handles throwing in this weather. Third and five, first completion goes for a first down for Miami. Delivers enough for a first down. Miami converts on fourth and three. Stacy Coley makes the grab. Decisions. He sees it right here. Look at this big hole on the slot receiver. He knows where the ball's going before the ball is snapped. It's really a pleasure not going to the University of Miami. There's a few guys that have been doing it. Start as a true freshman and be basically the captain of this game as a true sophomore. On the right side, that's Yearby falling forward. Let's check in with Ali LaForce. Carter and Gary, so much for the name Sun Bowl. Hey, look, it's the first snow of the year. Some of these Miami players even told me they have never seen snow before. So guys more happy than anything. 11th play here, Alley. Completion, another first down inside the 10, down to the 6-yard line. That's Christopher Herndon, the sophomore tight end. This is one of those RPOs of modern football. Brad has the option of either running it or seeing the slot receiver. The offensive line is running a run play. He's deciding to pitch by Verizon. You see the touchdown percentage for Miami, not good, just 50%. So into the red zone, and you talked about it. A big difference for the Miami. We talked about the Miami mm -hmm. defense is short on personnel. Second and goal. Kaya under center. Yearby takes it again. Stood up. Third and goal. Miami on the opening drive for the Canes. I think that was about injuries at all. But, I mean, it's head injuries, obviously, there. Brad Kaya also had to miss a game this year because of concussion. Kaya. It is he throws downfield complete inside the 50. Kaya delivers quarterback's head, or he'll eat you up. 36 yard completion back on the ground. Yearby can't turn the corner, maybe only gets a yard. Level of quarterback play, he's gonna have to give him some depth. Blitz complete to the outside, slipping away for extra yardage. That's David Najoku, the red shirt freshman tight end that you love. By the true sophomore from L.A. Already more passing yards than Kosar and Testa Verde. He's going to hand it off to Yearby on 36 on the draw. Good block. Yearby spins for a Miami first down, and he keeps rolling inside the 35. Well, Njoku got the big catch on the play before, and he's going to come up with a crack black block on this one coming back right now. Gets around the corner. Now watch him come back and get the block. Back in reference. That was my job. That's all I had to do my last three years in the NFL was to give that. Uh, Uh-oh, here it comes. Kaya takes the, the sack. Outside. At the 16, Lyle leads the way along with McClellan. Yeah, Trevor Darling. I mean, this is a, a young offensive line. And this time, Darling steps in a little bit too far inside before he gets to McLennan. McLennan gets around the corner. It was just too short of a quarter, corner that time. Trevor Darling was helping inside, and by the time he got back out again, it was too late. Mike Leach has put together. Joe Salavale, the defensive line coach, is a legend. American Samoa. Well, and a great history at Washington State with Jack Thompson, too. He mm -hmm. started. Well, oh, that, that might is, be a fumble. Did they're going to call it? it incomplete. Rule it incomplete. So, a break there for yes. Miami. <laughs> Not the only stops of his coaching career <laughs> at Washington State and Miami. Kaya complete to the outside. Herb Waters makes the catch. Clock rolling under a minute. Two timeouts. I want to 
interception. It was in the end zone, off the receiver's hands. That one is incomplete. Kaya just gets it away, intended for Scott. Yeah, Ivan McLennan that time came around the corner again. Pressure from the backside. And watch it, just as he lets it go, he's lucky he got rid of it. And Taliulu, we heard, wishing his Hawaiians Mele Kaliki Maka. Knocks it away. Bring up third down already. Low snap. Kaya brings it in. Takes the sack back at the 19. Time 34 seconds. State yep. two. A 23 and a 27. Play action. Kaya on the rollout. Heaves it to the sideline, incomplete, with the Palua applying the pressure. Well, you could see that the way the game started out in game, I did not expect this active and athletic a front four. Low snap, Berrios takes it. It was the Wildcat look with Year B taking the snap and then handing off on the sweep to Berrios. That's a big play in this football game. And then to the interception after the quarterback started out dueling. And there is Walton to the outside, yeah. slipping away, finally dragged down. Late flag again, though. 31. Yeah, yeah. I, was, sure. I was gonna use my normal frame, but it won't work. <laughs> Screen on third down to the 47 for first quarter. I don't think Washington State is aligned properly here. Kaya, check down, well short of the first down. So over the middle completes, and a big pot taken by... Another one of those drop-down throws by Brad Kaya. He's you know, third and long and uh, doubled up on the play. He catches it, does waters, and he takes it from Luvu. The last hit was the one, I think, that did him in there. So third and 15, Kaya oh! intended for Scott again. It's incomplete. Miami wants a flag, none coming. Our guy is back out there. Play action. Kai Russell sack back at the 10. Guess who? Bye, Al. <laughs> I'm drafting that guy. I don't know when I'm going to draft him. I know this guy is going to be an impact player on the next level. You turn out, I didn't know anything about their defense. I knew after about 10. That's a first time start, starter, Casey McDermott, that got beat on that play. Flag down, free play, knocked away, intercepted for now. So it's picked off. The run back from McClendon is knocked out. And it's going to come back, though. I think uh, they're offsides, right? Yep. Looked like a free play offsides. And I think, uh, I wonder if Brad Kaya thought that and knew that and took a chance on the throw. Talked about it. Part of their all in the third. Kaya inside give. Yubi. It's just a couple. Luvu, and we talked about from uh, Pago Pago to Pullman, Washington, a pipeline. Uh, uh, El Paso, and on top of that, the players for Washington State are coming from halfway across the ocean. Kaya incomplete. It was intended for Scott again. Kaya took a pop, and he is slow getting up. It's Palacio who did give in when there was adversity. Takes the sack, Kaya does, but hangs on to the football as Daryl Paulo from Sacramento gets the sack. Well, Paulo was in the game, Vaya was in the game, Equale was in the game, all three of the uh, Samoan. McClendon with the pressure. This time it was only a three-man rush. They spied on the play. Holding, Holding. Offense. offense, number 73. Penalties declined, fourth down. Yeah, they held on Ivan McClendon. McClendon still got in there on the mm -hmm. play. Second and goal. Walton pushing, didn't get much. Third and goal from just inside the five. Now Washington State thinks that they have it. And they do. Cougar football inside the five. Who knows it? Miami looking for their first bowl oh, win since pass. 2006, so they pull out the trick, and it does not work out. Picked off, off the pass from Yermi. Luani has it, and Shalom Luani gets a block on the outside, rolling across the 50. So the trick play toss from Yermi 